Welcome, I'm Kyle Mills. I'm an Applications Engineer um, here at QTE Manufacturing Solutions. And today I'm here at SWIC with David. Uh, David, go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, so my name is David. I am the uh, project coordinator here at SWIC. I'm responsible for managing the two machine shops we have. And here at the, we're here at a brand new campus here to uh, help out QT here and show off some of their uh, campuses software. The new campus is here in Belleville, is that yeah. correct? Yeah, in Belleville, awesome. Illinois. Yeah, we, we've been walking around today. It's a very impressive in, uh, facility. Um, today, thanks to David's generosity, we are going to fully program a part using Cam Assist and Mastercam. And then we're actually gonna demonstrate running the part that we programmed in Cam Assist on actually this machine right behind us. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into the software side of things. Um, I'm actually gonna make you run the mouse. Um, I've used okay. it before. I kinda wanna show, you know, you don't have to be, you know, a super, um, super machinist, super programmer to get started with Cam Assist. It, it kind of does a lot of things automatically for you. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this screen here and let's go ahead and take a look at our part here. So a few things with Cam Assist, um, you still have to set up your part. Mm -hmm. So we have the part set up here in a bias. You can see um, I have my stock defined. If we look back in the stock setup, you'll see that I actually have some um, fixturing defined and you know my parallel so we don't run into anything we let cam assist know what we're using master model all that fun stuff stuff that we should be doing anyway in our master cam projects sure so let's go ahead and get into the software here so up on top you'll see that I have a cloud NC tab let's go ahead and hit the drop down on the first tab here okay and let's pick on cam assist it's gonna ask you if you want to save go ahead and hit yes okay it's gonna check for updates. Um, this is connected to the internet, so it's always giving you the latest and greatest. They're always updating this, making it better. Okay, so we got a pretty simple overview in the general tab here. So what we're picking right now is what kind of operation are we doing? Is this um, three axis? Is it three plus two? How many operations are we doing? Um, we control how many operations we're doing by having different machine groups. So you can see I have two set up here, one for a top side and one for a back side. So let's go ahead and pick on op one is already correct. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and select our, our uh, second machine group is op two. Perfect. Um, that's all we need to do on this page. We are just doing a three axis since it's a three axis machine. Sure. Um, let's go to the next page. This next page allows us to pick tooling rules. You can actually set up your own libraries um, later on if you want to. This one is just using utilizing Cam Assist libraries. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this as is. The material type is aluminum, as you can see up there. So there's really not much we have to do to change on this one. So let's go to the advanced tab for the very last thing here. This is where we can pick uh, certain things that we want it to do. You can see right now I have facing off. Mm -hmm. Since we're using OptiRough, not really a need to, to, especially on aluminum, don't really need to face it. Um, if you, if you want that to output though, you can absolutely put that. You get a few options down below too, as you can see, of different machining styles. So you can see we get the difference between like waterline and hybrid, where we can use a ball mill instead of a chamfer mill for deburring the part later um, after the fact. Okay. There's a few other things down there, but let's just get into uh, letting Cam Assist do its thing. So go ahead and hit green check. And it's gonna start, um, start doing its thing. We'll take a look at the clock right here. It is 10.03 a.m. We're gonna maybe fast forward through some of this, but we'll, we'll tell you the total time um, when we come back here. So, so we can see two minutes later, it's already generating all the tool paths up on the screen here. Um, now it's just going through and We'll have to hit OK once it's done and, and let it calculate. Now in that first initial side, you can also choose it to not calculate automatically. So if you wanted to go through and delete stuff before you know, using that precious calculating time, we could do that. So it's, it's ready, it took a total of three minutes. And you, if you saw David clicked on yes, he wants to see the estimator. This is Sorry. a great <laughs> tool for estimators as well. So they can see, so they don't have to be super skilled at yeah. machining just to get you know an estimate to quote the job. You know, don't have to spend hours of your programmer's that's always, time. That's always been a big mystery to me in the educational world. We don't have to quote anything. Right, right. 
It's just whatever it takes, how long it takes. So now you'll see they've all been generated, but now we have to recalculate them, mm -hmm. generate the tool pass. They're all dirty right now. So it's going through and it's doing that right now. And we'll, and we'll see what we get. Now, after this is done, me and David are gonna go through and make sure everything looks okay. Cam Assist is a great tool to get started. It gets you anywhere between 60 to 90% of the way there. Still need to confirm, make sure it's not gonna crash into anything. Um, make sure that you have all the tooling that it decided for you. So we're gonna take a look at that here in a moment. And we'll go ahead and skip ahead a little bit in the video. So, um, and then we'll talk about it after it's done calculating. Okay, so it's done now. Uh, we got the estimate all done here too. We can see that one tool pass dirty, so we'll need to go back in and see you know, what happened with that. Maybe we need to correct something, but you'll see that it's fully programmed mm -hmm. the, the top side and back side for us automatically. Um, so let's go ahead and okay in the software here. And you can see we get nice estimates, total time, how much it's gonna run, what's it gonna cost. So very powerful tool for estimators, even if you don't want to use it on your shop floor, even if you're not uh, if if you're not happy with how it's outputting stuff, you can still use it just for estimating pur purposes here. I think it's a great tool to get started, though. Um, I'm always going to refine stuff. I'm a programmer now for um, probably 18 years, mm -hmm. so you know, obviously I'm very picky, but it's a great place <laughs> to get started. So let's go ahead and hit the X on the estimator here. And let's take a look in and see what we need to fix, what we need to change. Um, like I said, it gets you to that 60% to 90% range, depending on the part. Sure. So let's go ahead and go in the properties here. And on this 38? And the dirty one, yep. And let's go ahead and take out containment. And let's say stay to inside and recalculate that. And that should fix that one. If we click on op two, you'll see here on the back, that's all it was doing there. Um, the containment was a little too small for it, so it wasn't able to get in there. Okay. Um, so now let's go through, and me and David are gonna go through and make sure this is machine ready. We're gonna make sure that we have the proper tooling um, here at the shop, and we're also gonna make sure that it's not doing anything weird. We're gonna run it through simulation. So we're gonna go through and, and do that really quick. We might speed up the video a little bit, but we'll come back um, and, and, uh, and show you what we got. So I've gone through the um, all the tool paths. Everything look, is looking pretty good. I'm gonna run it quickly through simulation, and we're gonna take a look at how everything looks here, and then we're gonna get the machine all set up and run this thing. So in total, um, we started at 10:03. I'm I'm looking at about 12 minutes to program this whole part right now, um, and that's looking through everything. Um, we're gonna take a little bit of a break here, um, run it through simulation, and then. Uh, be right back and see you guys in a moment. All right, we're back. We've uh, tweaked everything. We took a little bit of a break, got some water. Um, we're gonna go through now and assign all our tool numbers. So since we use Canvas library, it's going to um, just put in these arbitrary numbers that they set up when they made the database. So let's go ahead and make sure everything matches up with what we wanna put in the carousel and make sure we have all the tools. So I'll let you run the mouse. Let's go ahead and go to our tool manager and we'll just take a look at, at what we got and we'll replace anything we need to. So now let's go in and edit each tool to have the right tool number for us. So let's start with the largest. Sure. Whatever order you want. One, perfect. And like I said, you can use your own library, so and you can also edit their library. So if you wanted to have certain standard tool numbers, this is all stuff that you can apply um, and not have to reinvent the wheel each time. What's next? What's so we chicken? might speed up the video a little bit here and we're just going to finish up setting all our tools and then we'll meet you over at the machine. <laughs> Alright, we're back at the machine and uh, we're, we're about ready to run this thing. I think we got all our tools touched off, the parts touched off. Um, we ran it through dry run just to make sure everything's looking good. So uh, without further ado, we're going to 
we're gonna hit cycle start and we're gonna show you some some footage in the machine. Sounds good. So you can see I got the part here on the granite table. Um, it's all done. Um, you can see that Cam Assist did a pretty good job of programming everything, every feature here. There are a few things that I had to do um, in the program and I'll list those up on the screen now. Well, let me give you a little bit of a closer look of the part here. Let me bring it closer to the camera. This is op side, uh, op one side. And here's op two. Still got a little bit of coolant on it. If you guys have any more questions or, or in, are interested in the product, feel free to, to contact us at support at qtemfg.com and, uh, and we'll catch you in the next video. So that's our video. A special thanks to David for letting us come out and film this video. Um, is there anything you want to tell the audience about your, your courses here? Or? Uh, yes, so SWIC is, we have one of the leading uh, precision machining technology programs probably in the nation, especially with this new shop here. We have $30 million invested in this. It's nothing but machine. So right. it's not just all the tech trades, but we focus in on what our industry around here really needs. So, if, uh, precision machining, you think it's something you would love to do and learn, we'd love to have you here and get you trained up. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a very impressive shop. Walking around, there's everything in here is brand new. It's very impressive. So, uh, thanks again. I've been Kyle, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. How's it going?